Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Romans 11:29. For God's gift and His call are irrevocable. Um, today I'm kind of excited. I know I don't look it, but I'm excited to podcast. Um, I actually have something to share and something to show. So, uh, you know, last couple of weeks, almost. A month or so. I just haven't been into the the crochet. I don't know. I I, I thought I'd lost my mojo. But one um, very steady watcher, and she always comments. Uh, and I love her to death. I think she's followed us for years. To be honest with you, um, <coughs> and I know I have quite a few silent, consistent ones. Um, People that I see in my real life, they watch and then they're like, oh, hey, saw this, blah, blah, you know. So, but she constantly comments and it makes me feel good. Um, but she hit, I think she hit the nail on the head because she said in the heat, she doesn't feel it as much as she normally does. And so I'm like, mm, that could be it. Well, the weather has turned and I have been a busy bee. <laughs> So I had never noticed it before, but I do think the heat takes it out of me. I'm just struggling to get through the day and all that kind of stuff. So uh, kudos to her, Miss Jones. Yes. Anyway. All right. So let's start with totally hooked. And yes, I actually have something. So I got my Mary Maxim order and I guess that really excites me too um, because I have stuff that I have started. If you remember, I ordered <clears throat> six. I'm looking for something here real quick. There it is. I ordered uh, six skeins of yarn. Got them for all, including shipping and handling for less than $40. But one of the ones I got was a, uh, it's my color. It, it's like a red eggplanty. you know. It was just beautiful in the pictures. But. And it was this uh, Alpine, Alp Dazzle by Feza. And I got it on sale and it was great. But when you read it, it says 32% nylon, 20% acrylic, 10% uh, Valcoris, 10%, 14% wool, 6% cotton. Anyway, it goes on and on. Okay, and I'm thinking... This is a uh, weird one, but okay. Well, then when I got the yarn, and the picture did not show this as well as I like, okay? It was one of those yarns that they had taken different stuff, like, and sewed it together. I don't know, and sewed it, and tied it together. So you had some of this fuzzy stuff, and then you had ribbon, and then you had the, this stuff right here is really scratchy, and I dislike this kind of yarn with a passion. Um, I call it artsy fartsy and there's no way to hide strings in it. They just don't hide very well. So anyway, I got it. Loved the color. Decided to do something with it. Get rid of it. So I made this very big grumpy thing and I actually have a uh, a thought for what I'm going to do with this. So it's just a big triangle shawl and the colors, I like them. They go, you know, they've got some blacks, they got some reds, um, beautiful colors. Do not like the shawl at all just because it's, you know, so many yards of one thing and then tied to another thing and it's ribbons and rickrack and, uh, yarns and different di kinds of yarns. You know, you got some fuzzies here that are very soft, and then you've got this here, and then you got ribbon. I'm not into this, but worked up really easy. Um, I got this stuff. What day was it? Thursday. I was supposed to get it Saturday, but I think I got it Friday. So I made this over the weekend. It worked up really easy. The, it's just a standard V pattern. Yeah. So it worked up really easy. Um, 
and it looks great. Unfortunately, it feels horrible. Um, it just has itchy spots in it. It's got some really nice soft spots in it, but I don't know. I'm just not into those kind of shawls. So while it is pretty, just not me. Um, sorry, with the cooler weather, I have allergies during them too. It, it's kind of been like fall. Okay. The other thing that I did, well, um, I guess we'll move on to in the baskets because this is, um, <laughs> it's just dumped like, uh, okay. So, um, this is the one I finally spun the, um, you know, I started it last week and I spun it up and here it is. And I've gotten this far and this is just the Tunis and I have about this much left to go. I squished it. I didn't mean to, but the, the center is pretty empty. Um, so, and believe it or not, um, just to show you how things can vary. All right. This pattern and the red pattern are the exact same pattern. So what's the difference? Now you guys know I like to talk about these things because people ask me all the time, you know, is it hard? I, I can make something loose and lacy with this same pattern and or I can do it tight and scrunchy. So there's always two things that come, two factors that come into that and one is your hook size and the other is your yarn weight. So if you don't like the way a pattern turned out, try changing it up a little bit. Um, I have go-to patterns I have like two shawl go-to patterns that always come out. And like I said, this one, if I did it with a lacier weight, it would have been a beautiful shawl. Um, this one I'm doing tighter. It depends on the look you're going for. So make sure that you are exploring both yarn and the size of your hook. By all means, don't stick to the pattern. I mean, don't stick to what they say. Yes, it's recommended, and that's the result they got, but your tension can play as much in it as anything else. So while this one looks tighter, it's simply done with a smaller, I say a smaller hook. It's not, it's, this is done with a K hook. This was done with an N or a P. I don't remember. I'll have to look and see. But it's just my big, I actually use it for um, carpet, uh, when I want to crochet rugs. So I use my biggest hook available and this one. Now this one, of course, has thick and thin and thick and thin. But you can definitely tell the difference in this open part right here. Okay, and you can see the size of that yarn right there. And this guy, who is tight and scratchy. So make sure that when you're um, crocheting, oh man, I'm bad today. Uh, make sure when you're crocheting that you explore all the options. Do you up a little, I start it and if I don't like the way it's looking, I'll rip it out. I mean, you don't have to go very far to know how it's going to work up. Um, but I will rip it out and I will start over even if I just get a little V like so. And the only thing I may change is the hook. I don't ever age anything because either I like the pattern or I don't. If it's cute, I make my yarn or my hook um, work for that pattern to make it what I want it to make. If I wanted this to be um, looser, I would have used a bigger hook. Okay, so that's just a little tip. Same pattern, different hooks, different yarn weights um, and it can make all the difference in the world to the look that you're going for. So you have to know what you want and like I said this one is tight and scrunchy and for warmth. The other one is for, 
I don't know what, but anyway, but it was looser. And so I still have in here, if this isn't enough, I still have in here my um, Tarky. And I think there's 200 and some yards of it that I'll end on the bottom. Now it will be, uh, it won't be as scrunchy as this. And it'll add more drape to the end of it. And that's why I'm putting it on the bottom. So that it would be like drapey after the scrunchy part. So I have made progress on this one. I made an entire shawl. Um, and like I said, I got this stuff in, I want to say Friday. I think Friday. And just worked on it in the weekend. So there's those two. Then the other thing I did was I ordered... Um, shawl on a balls and I ordered two different kinds and this is what come came from Mary Max and this one's the gray white and then I got two of these Oops. they're wound but actually the same one but as you can see whenever it wound the darker the lighter part is on the inside on this one, and the darker part is on the inside of that one. So, but I can use them together if I need to. Uh, each one, I love the shawl and the balls because if I get frustrated, I can just use them. I'm having trouble. My sinuses are hurting my head, so I'm having trouble focusing today. Um, I want to say they're like 400 yards or something. So I really like them. Um... But anyway, and this is just Lion's brand. Um, ball in a ball. So I got those, and I know that I will be doing something with those um, this in the next couple of weeks. So all right, I'm going to have to stop for just a second, and I'll explain when I come back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so I've got some other stuff going on around the house. Got to go to work here in a little bit. Um, I had to go tend to some laundry that has been in the dryer for like two days. Uh, and I wanted to go get some video. I also had to go potty. <laughs> so it all kind of, kind of, I was like, I'll just stop and go. Um, so where was I? Um, in the pots, I haven't dyed that yet. On the wheel, of course, I've done that. Oh, wait, there was one other thing that I got that is separate from the yarn order that I did. And that is, I started up the kit again. And these always inspire me. I may not use them the way they intended. I might put the, start putting the pattern together. This one, I don't know that I'm going to. This, to me... I would rather see done in thread crochet, but I'm going to, I might go ahead and try because the yarn is really thin. So this is a kit that came. Okay. And it is a snowflake table topper, which we roommate and I have a round table. So this might, I've got to measure it and see. It says it's 23 inches approximately in diameter. So we will see what it does. Um, I'll measure the table and see if it's 23. I might actually use it, but here's the yarn that came with it. And I don't know. Um, it's a little thicker than a thread, but it feels like thread. So it's not really a 10 weight, you know, thread. I don't know. I, I really just don't know. Um, I like the yarn. It does remind me of just a cotton, you know, and like I said, I'm having trouble with my sinuses and that makes my contacts not want to focus. Makes my eyes not want to focus. Doesn't have anything to do with my contacts, but, um, I'm not seeing, um, I'm probably seeing it just can't focus on it, on what this is, but it feels like a cotton and it kind of looks, it's just, Thicker than the cotton that I'm used to. So, who knows? I might. And they it came with four balls of that. 
and the pattern. And I might actually, you know, make this and have something going on, you know. Um, they've got some little pictures on a little squirrely um, stitch that they do. So, and you know, I may change it up a little bit, you know, if it gets to be something that I don't like in that pattern or whatever. So we'll see what it becomes. We really will. Um, like I said, I like the kits because they give me inspiration. And Mary Maxim is really good with the crochet. I did a kit, and I can't even remember what it was, but they always see it. Hats, scarves, mittens. Hats, scarves, mittens. You know, different patterns for hats. Different patterns. <coughs> Mary Maxim does an excellent job. I've gotten shawls. I've gotten hats. I've gotten mittens. I've gotten slippers. I've got toppers. I've gotten um, little throws. Um, baby blankets. They really do try to mix it up. So... I don't know when I'll be starting this one because I want to get Christmas done and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But, all right, that is all of the crochet treasure and stuff like that. Uh, I do have one thing that we did in the fields. I've gotten rid of the garden. I mean, yeah. Um, RJ's world, he's been rodeoing. That's pretty much it. Uh, just going and trying to keep the bills paid. He's finding out it's a little bit harder on that farm, the more animals you got. So, um, and he is missing definitely that spring and fall paycheck when, you know, we'd have the baby lambs and uh, sell those to breeders. That was income that he's now missing. So, we'll see. Um, sorry. All right. <coughs> oh, what else? Okay, in the farmhouse. So, with the cooler weather, um, I went down and worked some more on the pond. Uh, we found more evidence of a coon, and, and we've been uh, getting rid of some snakes and stuff, and I've been cleaning around the edge, and I've got one big pile, but I took and cleaned out some more and added to that big pile one day out there. And then the other thing that I did was um, cleaned out the back room. So, you know, roommate and I have been here hmm, almost two years now. Wow. Um, yeah. So, uh, no, it's, it's over two years. I moved in in July. So, yeah. One, two, just past the two year mark. Woohoo! But, um, so, and you know, the house was used for storage and we had to clean it out. And for the first, I don't know how many months, we lived just in this front with the kitchen, one living room, kind of, and then the two bedrooms that we had cleaned out. And, uh, this first bedroom just, <laughs> my bedroom just had, uh, mattresses on the floor, no bed frame, no anything. So anyway, yeah, if you remember those days, um, everything is now cleaned out, but not really because we still have the back room. We still have stuff in the garage, um, the shop, the barn, you know, it, it, it just takes time. So I got bit by the cleanup bug, I guess, and decided to go in that back room and I straightened it up and it is now usable. And I do have a video that I'm going to put in right here. Okay. One of the other things that we got done this weekend was we cleaned out this back room. This was piled with old TVs and stuff like that. So I got in here and we cleaned it out. Um, that closet is storage stuff that we're never going to be into. Uh, Move the fridge. The fridge was over here just kind of facing this way, but we've moved it over there and we just kind of should. And we also put our wood here for winter. That bat, bed, the other parts of the bed, you can see that little plastic bag up there in that closet is the other parts of that bed. That's stuff we want to keep. So 
Um, yes, this is storage, but it was piled to the hilt. The new door is doing good. We started to get this. Um, we've got the concrete stuff to put in it. Um, it had to be chiseled out to replace the door. And we have the stuff to put in there. But the problem is, is that it was supposed to rain again this weekend. And so we were like, okay, that's cool. But, yeah, it didn't rain. So, yeah. Um, took down the big curtains and stuff and put up the um, blinds in here so that it looks more open. It's just really a nice open room now. So, I don't know what else we're going to do. Of course, we store stuff back here. and We'll see what it becomes. Um roommate's mom used to craft back here and i thought i could put a table right there uh -huh. <laughs> but i kind of confiscated the office so i don't know but anyway this is all nice and cleaned out and vacuum got all the cobwebs out of it sprayed for bugs that kind of stuff okay so i didn't get any video before but the fridge was turned the other way because it was the only way we could get the door to open because there was stuff everywhere there was old TVs piled up. There was, um, all kinds of stuff just piled. So, it, I mean, it was an orderly pile, but it was stuff. There was, we cleaned it out and there was a bunch of tax papers and all that stuff. And in that closet, it, it's all boxed up nicely now. Um, and we don't need it. We don't go into that closet. So, um, yeah, we turned the fridge, and that fridge is on wheels, thank goodness. Um, but we turned that fridge, and it opens up, and it makes more room. So I, I'm okay with that. Um, the door still has, you know, the thing. We have the stuff that we're supposed to pour in level. It's kind of like concrete. It's kind of some concrete in small batches. But anyway, we have that, and every time that we say we're going to do it, it says it's going to rain. So, yeah, once we get that, I have a towel that I normally have down there, but it got all yucky and had to be washed. And so, anyway, but, uh, yeah, it, I got that done. It's just coming together slowly but surely. But for the last couple of months, and even today, I have a headache, and it's sinuses. Um, the fall weather has Played havoc with my sinus. Saw one of those little memes on Facebook, and um, I, it said, "It, yep, fall weather's here. Um, if you have not don't have your sinus headache already, one will be assigned to you shortly." So yeah, um, it is what it is. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. I have work this week. Um, I worked on the house. I went to work regular. Um, I got a lot crafting kind of done. I also worked a little bit on my Halloween costume and it's coming together nicely. Um, other than that, I think I finished my nighty and my night shorts. I finished this shirt. Obviously I'm wearing it to work today. Um, and so I finished that $17 worth of material, $17.43 or something. And I got the two work shirts, the shorts, the nighty. Um, to deal with this right here, I just changed the whole thing. I took that um, mauve part off and redid it. So, yeah. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, got those done. I have my... Christmas about done. I have one more item that I have to make for RJ. I was going to make him a rope bag. And then it hit me. He's got like five. Two of which, three of which I've made. So I've come up with another thing that I'm going to make for him. And it's going to be a shave kit. Um, he now shaves, you know, there for a while. He was going pretty scuffy. But a trade shave and travel kit a mirror in there and a razor and uh, shave lotion, maybe some aftershave and make it a canvas bag so that he can just throw it in the washer. And, yep. So a little travel. I say a little. It, it's going to be a pretty decent sized one because I want him to have the mirror and everything in there. That way when he's rodeoing, he still doesn't have to look so scuffy. So I think I'm going to do that instead of the rope bag. 
but that's the last one that I have to make for Christmas. And then I did decide that I am going to take Macy, her and I will have to get a day and her and I are going to go to Sally's and see what I'm hoping that I can help her, let her help me shop for RJ stuff and maybe pick up some hints to put something in that bag that I made her that she doesn't have or would want. So, I'm sorry about drinking so much. My sinuses are literally going crazy. So, all right. I think that's about it. I've got, you know, I know this is kind of haphazard all over. It started, all right. Um, and, you know, I did take a break in the middle of doing this, and it's because I'm trying to get work done. I got laundry that I'm dealing with, too, in the back room. So, of course, I wanted to get that video. And normally I shoot those either before or after I start. I thought, well, I got to go start that laundry because I got to get it done before I go to work or it'll sour. Yeah. So anyway, I have my mojo back, I think. And I am diligently working and I will start doing better. Um, I did was asked by someone that emailed me and said, are you going to do any more instructional videos like um, how you make this or how you make that? Uh, I don't know. I am hadn't really thought about it on the farm. There's lots of things that we do every day that are instructional that you just kind of wing it and it's more of a necessity. Here at this house, it's mostly refer, you know, we repainted these walls, done the floors. This is the only room that is actually totally done in the way we want it. Um, so, there's a lot of that that goes on, but not, um, not really instructional. When I get ready to dye that shawl, I'll do that, um, and do dye ones. But as far as anything, if there's something you guys want to see that is not in our repertoire, um, because RJ's still on the farm and he still does some of those things. He, the sheep and goats, um, are all but gone. So he, he's changed it into a horse training facility. Um, he has stalls, he rides outside horses. Uh, he's finding his way as an adult and he figured out really quick that doing all of that horse and sheep and, and cattle and, and goats and, chickens and all of that without more people there. I mean, hence me. Um, it really is a two man show. So, um, he's dialed it back to what he can handle and he's making the farm what he, what he wants to be, where he wants to be. And he is looking to the future and, and seeing, you know, what he can make a living at and how things are going to go. So he, he's trying. And it has changed a lot since those days when he was, what, 13? Um, he's now 25. So it, it's been over 10 years, 11 years, 12 years. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. But he's doing his thing, and things have just changed. And he doesn't have time to shoot the videos. I like to shoot the videos to track my progress to track my crochet stuff. And that's always been a part of me. Um, I have the breeds that I used to do. I do still do my binders with the samples of anything that I've tried, <clears throat> that kind of stuff. But if there is something specific that you want to see, let us know. Um, RJ's not above making another video or whatever. Um, he just has to find the time. So, um, he doesn't do them weekly and he would do any that y'all need done. But other than that, I just kind of keep it to my craft and you know, this is why it's take two. He's grown up. That was back when he was a kid and we were all living on the farm, you know, life changes. So, um, anyway, all right, I'm gonna get off here, put all this together and hopefully get it uploaded for you guys early. Yay. This is just Tuesday. So, all right. I will see you next week. Y'all be safe and God bless.